You won't believe how a single jet from a tiny nation quietly reshaped the future of Hello Everyone. Welcome back to the channel today. We're diving into the remarkable evolution of the Kfar C7, a jet that emerged from determination, ingenuity, and the drive to achieve complete independence in aerospace design. Despite the challenges surrounding its development, the Kfar C7 became far more than a national project. It became a template for what agile, adaptable aircraft could become in the decades that followed. In this section, we'll lay the foundation by looking at why the KFER program needed to exist in the first place instead of relying on traditional suppliers. Engineers sought a platform that could be upgraded rapidly, maintained easily, and adapted for a variety of service roles without needing external approval or long production delays. The result was a sleek, powerful machine built on lessons learned from earlier aircraft, yet improved through sheer technical creativity. The Kfer C7 wasn't simply designed, it was engineered with intention, shaped by necessity, and optimized to perform in environments where reliability and speed were essential. As we move forward, you'll see how this aircraft gradually became a symbol of innovation and how its influence quietly spread into designs adopted by many global aviation programs. The KFER story begins with a pressing need for independence in aviation manufacturing. Import restrictions and shifting international relationships meant relying on other countries for aircraft simply wasn't sustainable. Engineers had to figure out how to enhance an existing airframe, integrate a different power plant, and introduce advanced avionics, all without access to the usual support pipelines. Instead of viewing these challenges as barriers, designers saw them as an opportunity for a more capable platform that could evolve over time. They analyzed aerodynamic shapes, fuel requirements, climb performance, and structural stability to ensure the aircraft would remain effective well into the future. This process led them to adapt a proven airframe as the foundation while embedding a new engine known for its strength and responsiveness. It was a bold move, combining components from different origins while maintaining complete reliability. The result was remarkable. The transformed airframe produced better acceleration, higher service ceilings, and the ability to handle more advanced onboard systems. This inventive approach set the stage for the KFER C7 as an adaptable machine ready for new missions, new technologies, and future upgrades that would eventually influence design choices across global aviation communities. Once the foundation was set, the next objective was optimizing thrust, stability, and reliability. Engineers understood that future aviation would require aircraft with faster response times, stronger performance at high altitudes, and the ability to carry updated equipment. The Kfer C7's upgraded power plant became the centerpiece of this transformation. Its engine provided a significant jump in acceleration and sustained speed, giving pilots the ability to maneuver with precision during demanding training scenarios and operational flights. But raw power wasn't enough. Designers added aerodynamic refinements, including canards, that improve lift and stability, especially at lower speeds or during sharp directional changes. These features allowed the aircraft to maintain exceptional control, even at the edges of its performance envelope. Additionally, structural reinforcement ensured that the jet could handle increased loads, meaning it could host more advanced sensor packages, additional equipment, and a greater variety of training or operational payload configurations. Together, these upgrades created an aircraft that wasn't just faster or stronger, but genuinely more capable across diverse flight environments. This adaptability made the Kfer C7 a standout platform and revealed just how far creative engineering could push an existing design into true next-generation territory. To understand the Kfer C7's long-term influence, you must look closely at its avionics. A major leap forward came from integrating digital systems that improved situational awareness, targeting precision, navigation accuracy, 
and overall ease of use, the cockpit layout was redesigned to make essential information instantly readable while reducing pilot workload, which is crucial during demanding high speed maneuvers or long duration flights. New sensors and interface systems allowed pilots to transition seamlessly between different roles and mission profiles. The enhanced radar suite expanded detection ranges and improved tracking stability, ensuring reliable performance even in challenging environments. Multiple data inputs could now be processed far more efficiently than before. Importantly, these avionics were modular. Parts could be upgraded without redesigning the entire aircraft. This idea may seem obvious today, but at the time it was transformative, modularity became a standard expectation in later advanced jets, proving that the KFIR C7 was ahead of its era. The sophisticated electronic backbone of the C7 did more than boost performance. It set a precedent for how future aircraft would incorporate digital systems as adaptable, constantly evolving components rather than fixed, unchangeable hardware. Flight testing of the KFIR C7 revealed just how dramatically the upgrades transformed performance. Pilots noted smoother handling, improved roll rates, and better response under high energy flight conditions. The enhanced thrust allowed rapid acceleration during takeoff and swift climbs to cruising altitudes, while the refined aerodynamics provided exceptional stability. These qualities weren't just incremental improvements. They demonstrated that the aircraft had entered a new level of capability. Engineers also focused heavily on reliability. Systems were stress tested across extreme temperatures, variable humidity, and long duration flights that pushed every component to its limits. Maintenance crews reported that the new configuration was not only manageable, but improved with easier access panels, simplified diagnostics, and reduced turnaround times. This emphasis on maintainability made the aircraft more practical for long-term service. The jet didn't just perform well, it performed consistently, allowing pilots to trust it during advanced training programs and operational missions. All these achievements contributed to the C-7's reputation as a machine engineered for real world demands. Its reliability and predictable behavior even under pressure became a benchmark for later aviation designs inspired by its success. One of the Kefir C7's most impressive attributes was its ability to evolve. As aviation technology advanced, many aircraft quickly became outdated, but the C7's modular design allowed it to remain relevant through constant upgrades. Engineers could integrate new radar, improved communication tools, enhanced targeting technologies, and expanded mission equipment without needing to redesign the entire aircraft. This forward-looking approach meant the C-7 aged gracefully, continually adapting to modern standards. Pilots appreciated how these upgrades translated into better awareness, more precise control, and increasingly sophisticated operational capabilities. Air forces using the KFIR platform were able to enhance performance without incurring the massive expenses associated with developing a completely new aircraft. This flexibility also made the C-7 attractive to international buyers seeking a cost, effective yet powerful jet built on proven engineering. Over time, its ability to accept new avionics, sensors, and equipment ensured it could perform roles traditionally reserved for much newer aircraft. This adaptability became one of the jet's defining strengths, proving that a well-designed platform can remain highly competitive across multiple decades with thoughtful modernization and strategic upgrades. The KFIR C7 eventually demonstrated its value internationally as well. Countries seeking advanced aircraft without the high cost of cutting edge next generation platforms found the C7 appealing due to its reliability, strong performance and adaptability. Several nations incorporated the KFIR into their aviation programs, using it for air sovereignty missions, advanced pilot training and operational patrol responsibilities. These international users praised the aircraft for its durability and for how quickly pilots could transition into flying it. 
Thanks to its intuitive cockpit layout and predictable handling, the KFIRS deployment abroad also provided additional feedback to engineers who use these real world experiences to refine the jet still further. Export success helped the platform achieve global recognition and reinforced its reputation as one of the most innovative products of its era. Its presence in multiple regions allowed aviation analysts worldwide to study its strengths, resilience, and modular technology approach. These international programs contributed significantly to the JET's legacy, extending its influence far beyond its country of origin and allowing it to serve effectively in diverse climates, terrains, and operational conditions while showcasing the value of flexibility in modern aviation. One of the most important aspects of the KFIR C7's legacy is how its design philosophy influenced future aviation development. Engineers working on later aircraft increasingly adopted principles that the C7 embodied early on modular systems easy to upgrade avionics, aerodynamic refinements optimized for multiple mission types, and engines designed for both power and long-term reliability. This platform proved that a jet didn't need to be entirely new to become a significant technological step forward. Instead, thoughtful integration of improved components could yield a machine that performed on par with many contemporary designs. The C7 also showed that advanced jets could be maintained more efficiently without sacrificing capability. Streamlined access points, improved diagnostics, and standardized components changed expectations for future aircraft maintenance. Aviation programs around the world gradually embraced these ideas, focusing on upgrades rather than full replacements. As a result, many modern jets now share the KFIRS philosophy, build intelligently, upgrade consistently, and ensure the platform remains relevant for decades. The influence of this approach can be seen today in aircraft that emphasize longevity, modularity, and continuous enhancement, a testament to the bold engineering choices made during the KFIRS C7's development. Beyond its technical qualities, the KFIR C7 carries a symbolic legacy. It represents a moment when innovation emerged not from abundance, but from necessity, pressure, limitations, and changing geopolitical relationships could have hindered development, but instead they pushed engineers to think differently. The jet became a statement of resilience and technical confidence. It demonstrated that determined designers could create an aircraft capable of matching or outperforming many contemporaries despite fewer resources. This spirit of innovation became one of the most admired aspects of the KFIR story. It wasn't just a machine. It was proof that creativity and engineering discipline could overcome obstacles that once seemed insurmountable. The C7 embodies a philosophy shared by many of the world's most celebrated aerospace programs, limitations, fuel creativity. Its story continues to inspire engineers, historians, and aviation enthusiasts who appreciate how technical brilliance often emerges under pressure, even today, Discussions about aviation independence, platform adaptability, and long-term modernization reference the lessons learned from the KFIR program. The C7 stands as an example of how thoughtful engineering can influence global aviation far beyond initial expectations. In the end, the KFIR C7's importance goes far deeper than its specifications. It reshaped expectations for how aircraft could evolve, setting standards for modular upgrades, streamlined maintenance, and aerodynamic refinement that future designers would continue to build upon. Its journey from necessity to innovation mirrors the evolution of entire aerospace industries around the world. While many aircraft serve their purpose for a specific era, the C-7 managed to transcend its original role and become a reference point for engineers looking to create adaptable, long-lasting platforms. Its influence can be felt in modern jets that follow the same principles, build a strong foundation, leave room for improvement, and adapt as technology progresses. As we look back at the KFIR C7, we're not just examining an aircraft, 
we're witnessing a blueprint for sustainable aviation development. This jet proved that innovation doesn't always require starting from scratch. Sometimes it comes from refining, optimizing, and daring to think differently about design. This, this rare combination of creativity, determination, and technical brilliance is what secured the C7's place in aviation history and ensured its legacy will continue to inspire future generations. If you enjoyed learning about the KFIR C7 and want more deep dive aviation stories, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next.